Hey guys, in today's video, we'll continue watching the story, The Return of Zalama, the creator of the Super Dragon Spears. Now that Zalama has access to the time machine created by Bulma, will Zalama be able to travel through time and recruit people for his group, and thereby defeat his enemies that are Goku and Beerus? That's what we'll find out in today's chapter. What will happen? So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda, and come with me. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Well, without further ado, let's get to today's video. With Zalama. Currently with the Dragon God, it is possible to see that he was in the room where the time machine that was created and belonged to Vegeta's wife, Bulma, was. Zalama was analyzing the machine thoroughly. After all, seeing something like that was something incredible for Zalama, because that was not just a common invention, but an incredible invention that could only have been invented by someone very intelligent. Zalama spoke. To think that a mere human managed to create something extremely powerful, which could end up changing the course of history and even altering the entire existence of not just one universe, but all of them. The Dragon God spoke to himself as he walked around the time machine in which Zalama curiously analyzed the incredible invention. Zalama thought, Everyone is at the party and that blue-haired woman Bulma was the creator of this time machine. I think they wouldn't mind if I used the time machine to look for an ally in the past or the future thought the Dragon God while using his power to create a kind of barrier, impossible to be noticed by mortals and almost impossible to be noticed by divine beings. Zalama, after creating a divine barrier, entered the time machine and began to press various types of buttons, as he did not know very well how to use it. Seeing that he didn't know how to use the time machine, Zalama went to the computer system and began to see various information at high speed. Zalama said, even seeing all this information, I don't know how to use this machine correctly, but I don't need to know exactly how to use it. If I use my power, I can use this machine to go back and forth in time. It's time to give this incredible invention a divine touch, said the Dragon God standing in front of the time machine and using his divine energy to give the machine a divine touch. Firing his divine energy into the time machine, the machine ended up being altered, taking on a divine appearance and what was once a time machine had now become a sphere with the ability to travel through time. Zalama said, Now it seems like a divine work. This divine sphere will allow me to travel to the past and then to the future, but not only that, but I can also use this machine to travel between alternate dimensions or alternate timelines, said the dragon god while analyzing the change made in the machine of time created by Bulma. Zalama already considered that version to be his invention. Zalama said, I know that this black Goku guy is very strong, but his power is too weak compared to the Sun Goku of this world. But if I find another stronger version, he might be able to face the Son Goku and maybe even Beerus using his full power. And thanks to the Daishinkan, I don't need to worry about Whis or the other angels anymore. After all, they can't interfere or fight against other people, said the Dragon God while thinking about how to use this new invention to go after an ally. Zalama said, well, it's time for me to test drive this new creation of mine, said the Dragon God while looking at the sphere of the time machine, and then the Dragon God entered his new invention. Zalama entered his time travel sphere, then the time machine sphere began to glow with a blinding light, and in a few seconds, the sphere disappeared in a golden glow. The future of another timeline. In another timeline or in the distant future of that world, it was possible to see a great golden light appearing on the top of a building. The spear ended up opening and Zalama came out of it, who, when leaving the spear, said, It seems like that in this timeline or dimension, something happened to make the planet Earth of this world stay this way, said the Dragon God when he saw that in that timeline that planet Earth was not green and full of life. In that timeline the planet was all destroyed, full of abandoned bodies and suffering. Zalama said, to tell you the truth, I think I can find out more about this timeline using this machine of mine. So let's see if this machine can find out more about the timeline, said the Dragon God using the time travel sphere to find out more about the timeline he was in at that moment. After saying such words, the Dragon God returned to his time travel sphere and started using it to research the timeline he was in, and after a few seconds the Dragon God got informed about what had happened in that timeline, and that took him by surprise. Zalama said, now that's interesting. After the end of the power tournament, some enemies of Son Goku, mainly Frieza, came after him. But the Saiyan was training with Beerus and Whis. Since Goku had left, the Saiyan's enemies ended up slaughtering his family. And not only that, they also killed Vegeta's family. That was with Goku on the planet of the God of Destruction. 
The Saiyans' enemies not only did that, but also destroyed the Dragon Balls and the Super Dragon Balls. Wow. After that, I'm sure this world was dominated by the enemies of those two Saiyans, but I'm not sure if they were the ones who destroyed the planet, said the Dragon God while looking and reading what was appearing in the time travel sphere. Zalama said, After the death of the relatives of both Saiyans, the two ended up entering a state of gigantic fury, to the point that Son Goku and Vegeta gained enormous power, and by using that power, Son Goku managed to completely control the power of superior instinct. And not only that, but managed to release the power of the true superior instinct. And Vegeta ended up getting the power of a god of destruction. And with that he got the power of Ultra Ego, said the Dragon God while continuing to read that information. Zalama said, With that power, both Saiyans ended up becoming a universal level threat. And when Beerus realizes this, he tried to confront them. But Son Goku and Vegeta used their new powers to defeat Beerus, and together they killed him. And as Whis could not do nothing to stop, Vegeta ended up taking the throne of the God of Destruction, while Goku ended up staying on planet Earth and dominating the planet. So both ended up dropping their old names, and Goku assumed the title of Goku Black, while Vegeta just became the God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe. Alright, I have to admit that this was unexpected and surprising, and I really liked it said the Dragon God, finally reading a kind of summary of the timeline. Zalama thought, I would really like to find these two, Goku Black and Vegeta. The God of Destruction from the seventh universe of that timeline, they would be great allies. The two managed to defeat the God of Destruction of that timeline, said the Dragon God while looking towards the sky where he saw a small black dot, something that made him give a small smile. Zalama thought, it seems that I released my divine energy and that ended up attracting the attention of the Saiyan who governs this planet. And it seems that it wasn't just him that I ended up calling attention, said the Dragon God when he saw a second being appearing beside him of that being in black and both beings approached him. Hakai Shin Vegeta said, Who are you and what are you doing in my seventh universe? Asked the current seventh universe God of Destruction while looking at the Dragon God. Goku Black said, What are you doing on my planet? Speak at once before we have to kill you. So be brief, said the Saiyan while looking at Zalama. Zalama said, Sorry. But you two are not strong enough to defeat me. Even if you use the power of Ultra Ego and Superior Instinct, you still won't be able to kill me," said the Dragon God while looking at the Saiyans, who then ended up getting irritated by the way the Dragon God had spoken. Hakai Shin Vegeta said, Since it's like this, let's fight together again, Kakarot, and let's kill that cursed insect, said the current God of Destruction, activating his power of destruction, the Ultra Ego. Goku Black spoke, it's been a while, Vegeta, since the day we killed Beerus and all those who stood in our way. But this guy doesn't seem to be weak, so let's face him together, Vegeta, said the Saiyan activating the power of superior instinct. When the Saiyans advanced against the Dragon God, who seeing them became more serious, when the Saiyans got close enough to Zalama, they started attacking from different directions. And all the attacks were at high speed, but Zalama was much faster and managed to dodge all the blows. When they saw that none of their blows were being effective, the Saiyans moved away and together they advanced once more, shooting several spheres of ki, but once again the blows were ineffective. But this time Goku and Vegeta managed to approach the Dragon God, and they punched the Dragon God which caused him to be thrown back, but that punch still barely hurt Zalama. Seeing that, Zalama decided to stop being just defensive, and at great speed he advanced against the Saiyans, hitting them with a blow that threw them back, but none of them fell with that attack. After all, Son Goku and Vegeta from that timeline were very stronger than their other versions. Black Goku said, that hurt. It's been a long time since I've taken a punch like that. Not even Beerus had such a powerful punch, said the Saiyan while looking at the Dragon God. Hakai Shin Vegeta said, that worm hit hard, but this guy hits harder than Beerus. So maybe we should use our power for real. After all, we're using only 10% of our power, said Vegeta, the current god of destruction of the universe. Zalama spoke. It will not be necessary for us to continue this fight. I would like to ask you two something. Would you be interested in coming with me to another timeline where your family is alive and the Super Dragon Balls still exist? Help me and I will give them to you, and you will also have your families back," said the Dragon God while looking at the Saiyans who looked at each other thinking about the proposal. With that we end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes in the video and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day guys.